this computer. Okay, so I've asked uh, a question. Um, trying to surrender a situation uh, around uh, around uh, a business thing, but um, it hasn't completely gone. There's still a little bit of negativity there, and um, uh, and there's a fear that uh, you know a negative, a bad outcome may occur because there's still some vague negative. It's not completely been released. So, uh, so you haven't got to complete peace on that situation. And I'm going through something very similar. So I thought I'd share it uh, with my bank, banks, banks in general, and uh, fear of I got I got debanked by one bank. I'm now using another bank, and there's fear now with every transaction of being debanked, or um, you know. Um, the, so there's a drama. There's a drama, and there's beliefs in the head. You know there's a story coming up and it's not completely gone. So how I deal with this is, um, you know, I, I absolutely, I think I'm so grateful to Dr. Hugh Len, very, very famous person um, who is a mystic whose story was documented. So this is an officially documented and written about and shared about so people can understand the power of the mystic. So Dr. Hugh Len, I mean, we do the same process with the Course in Miracles and the Observer. We we keep transcending the data until it disappears, never to return. And usually when it's totally transcended in me, i.e. it doesn't reappear in me completely, um, quite a, well, a miracle will always happen. I, in my experience, it's guaranteed a miracle always happens. But I have to release it 100%. I mustn't hold anything, not any vestige or remnant of, you know, that uh, gr grievance, resentment, fear, wanting to change the situation, perceiving the situation even. It just has to completely disappear into, into nothingness and silence. So Dr. Hewland, there was a prison in Hawaii of all these criminals. And he did, uh, as I understand it, I'm just sharing the story as I understand it. He didn't go to the, he didn't go to the prison. He just got he just got the files of all the people in the prison. You know, this person an axe murderer, this person ran over a kid with his with his car. They're all locked up, and he saw all the things that they'd been locked up for in this prison. And he and he his thing is as a mystic is that this is our shared collective data that is imprisoning all of us. You know, and anyone who devotes themselves to clearing the data in themselves is also clearing the data in themselves and from the collective and from those others who suffer from these limiting ideas that waft around in this collective um, illusion of separation, which is not real. Uh, you sort of get that once you realize that my, my data is imprisoning me and other people and other people's data is also imprisoning me. And I can, if I work on just clearing my data and the data I perceive that others have done wrong and I 100% that transcend transcend that within me you don't have to go to the prison and tell them oh, you guys just you know spiritually put your belts up i don't have to do that i just have to clear it in me the problem is you know if i clear everything in me even what i see that others are doing and he did that and the whole prison uh every every prisoner got well and they released them from the prison and they shut down the prison um and uh, that's a, a well documented that that is the power of you know um, the these thoughts, these belief systems, which I pick up, uh, and I judge myself, and I judge others, and others get judged by these belief systems, and they get imprisoned by these ideas. Um, it's talked about in the Course in Miracles. Carl Jung talked about it: the collective belief system, the collective shared illusion, the co collective limited ideas that we that people just you know, we all agree to that as a limiting idea. So, but uh, anyone who commits themselves to deleting it in themselves um, and deletes it 100%. Anyway, with him, he just took ownership of everything out there he has to delete in himself until it's completely erased. And they all got well. And that is the power. So my thing is with these banks, you know, these are, there, there are collective limiting ideas within the collective of money, of banking, of being debanked, of being, um, you know, of being judged uh, for making financial transactions, all of these belief ideas. So I'm just what. I'm, so how do I clear it? You know, Doctor Hugh Len shares his practice. I have 
my practice to clear the data, to clear the ideas, the thoughts within myself. So, for example, um, I surrender, dear God, uh, my fears and limiting beliefs and karmas with this bank into God's infinite light and love. And I pray to God for forgiveness, transcendence. I pray for a miracle to see this situation in peace and see of what I now see. Um, you know, this situation I see with myself in a bank, if I go to the witnesser of my story and the witnesser of the fear and go to that, what's what what's behind this, watching all of this? Is the witnesser in fear? And does the witnesser li is limited by a story of banks and my and my experience with them and it and it disappears so just doing that over and over again praying to cat god did not create a bank story in my head so it's not real uh, i cancel my belief in this in in these thoughts limiting thoughts i'm an infinite being subject only to the limiting insane ideas i hold in mind so i i cancel my so over and over again to delete the data until it's completely deleted or to keep observing until it returns and at that point there's a deep peace and you can't even bring back the story and in my experience whenever that happens um, there's always a miracle there's always a miracle so even if there's a little bit left in there I would encourage just to keep going until it's totally deleted.